Maybe a few of us do. Some of our classmates moved away after graduation and didn't recognize each other last night at our meet and greet session at the Marriott. After they met, I think they were pleasingly surprised to see how each of us have gracefully matured in a very unique way during our aging process. Some of us have matured with our brain, and you will see that some have none. <laughs> At least you can't see it. Some have wrinkles, and some have been blessed to maintain their smooth skin. Some may have kept their high school physique, and some might be a little pleasingly plump. <laughs> Whatever category you fit in, or may I say we fit in, and I'm including myself, I know without a doubt that we are blessed to be here tonight. Amen. So let's love each other, hug each other, and keep in touch with each other. You will be introduced alphabetically by your given name. I know some of you all are married, but you can just forget that right now. <laughs> when I call your given name, then just come up. I will only introduce the classmates that are present. As your name is called, please come forward and line up until the last name is called. And the last name that will be called is Lillian Walker. After Lillian is recognized, a group picture will be taken. Before I introduce our classmates, let me introduce our teachers. You don't have to stand. You can just hold your hand up. Dr. Mingo Clark. Um, and I would like to say just one thing about that, just about <laughs> Dr. Clark, he wasn't doctor then, but anyway, I would not have been a council high graduate had it not been for Dr. Clark bringing me home every afternoon after we moved to Edmonton Heights. I had two more riders also. Robert Burroughs and Coy Friend. And Coy's not fortunate enough to be here with us tonight, but that was the only way that my parents told me that I could continue go to Council High if I found me a ride. So I got very busy. <laughs> because all of my friends were at Council High, and I didn't know anybody Council trained. And I was the oldest, so I found me a ride. And Dr. Clark was very nice to transport me back in the afternoon every day, right? <laughs> Thanks. Mrs. Fanny Pulley, and she had to leave. Mrs. Lillian Homer Morgan. Mr. Isaac Brooks. Zell Roper, oh, no. last but not least, and I don't remember her teaching me, but she said she did teach at Council High, and that is Mrs. Kamalita Gamble. Oh, no. Now for our classmates. As I call your name, if you can come forward as I ask you to. Would be very much so appreciated. John Baker. You go and call the nation. I'm kind of slow, man. Kelly <laughs> <laughs> Boone.
yours truly, Haley Bradford. Danette Brandon. Shirley Buford. Roberts, Boris, <laughs> Celia Coma, <laughs> Willie Craighead. I think I missed one. Okay, Willie Craighead, um, Emmanuel Burks. Did he get yeah. <laughs> Joyce Dickinson. <laughs> Alberta Gray Drake. Delores Drake. Betty Ford. Roosevelt Green, Carolyn Haygood, well I will call this uh, young lady's name because she did uh, send a contribution to help out with this affair and that was Allie Horton. George Kelly, our president. Henry C. Lacey, Mary Lanier, Maddie Lanier, Shelby Lanier, we had a lot of Lanier, Georgia McKinney, Olivia Otay, Okay, used to, used to be old <laughs> Mary Pride. Paul Reader. Hey. The clown of the class. Paris <laughs> 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 Warren Rice, Cloetsi, Betty Smith. Ella Walker, last but not least, Lillian Walker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are the classmates. Uh, 1961, the Golden Girls of the Young Men. We are young. We are young.